Hey everybody in here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee. It's a little bit cool today which is great. It feels wonderful. I got to go into town here real quick um, while it's still cool so I can take Papa with me. And something is supposed to be delivered today. I'm not sure what time but Amazon has told me it's on the way and it is that water spigot for the last water tote so hopefully it'll get here in time and I can get that other water toad up and running to capture rainwater so I'm excited about that but I do need to do some more work on my garden so I guess I better get going yep I trimmed my tomatoes back again you might think this is too severe but it's not because the leaves that I cut off were ones that were basically touching touching the ground so I went ahead and cut a lot more off gives them more room to breathe. I've got an absolute ton of tomatoes coming on. Those are cherry tomatoes. More cherry tomatoes. Um, yeah, there's celebrity tomatoes coming in. See, there's some more celebrity right there. I need to remember not to pan so fast. Um, the beans are all just doing what they're gonna do over there. And then these are all early girl, yes. The leaves had grown to where they were uh, down and they were touching the ground and you don't want that so I cut them back. There's still plenty of foliage on them and there are actual tomatoes that are trying to grow. So uh, I didn't take out all the suckers like that's a sucker right there but it's growing up and it's going straight so I left it and oh yeah I forgot to tell you I took squash out of those other beds and I put them in here and yeah they're kind of wilty they will be until they uh, you know establish their roots really well two zucchini in here um, over here is yellow summer squash these suffered the most um, but they're still trying to hang in there and then over here just one patty pan squash doesn't look so good but there is blooms down in there and so what I'm going to do is, with the exception of this one, because there's not a whole lot of leaves on it, I'm going to go cut the uh, kind of like deadish looking leaves off of this, off of these, because uh, they're not going to do the plant any good. And um, yeah, just put everything in the compost bin. I almost regret transplanting them because they're actually quite big plants, and I don't want them to overshadow things, but... I did it so we'll we'll just have to live with it but the beans are starting to crawl up the the corn look at these these are out of control oh my gosh I like to just eat these greens these two little plants here aren't getting enough sun but the beans are doing what they're supposed to do the corn is still growing and look at these peas over here yeah this is great. If, even if I don't get corn, I still have free bean poles. <laughs> yeah, I think that looks much better. There's already little flowers trying to form down there in the bottom, and these have enough leaves left. I really severely cut back the yellow summer squash. Hopefully it'll, it'll make it, but if not, that's okay. I've got more seeds. I really should have just pl been planting uh, squash seeds at this point, but um, I did leave enough greenery on it, so hopefully they will do better um, and I did take off one one leaf off of this uh, patty pan squash um, even though it looks pretty sickly so they'll perk up once I water them but I'm just really pleased with the way everything is looking yeah this needs to be kinda tied up a little bit better um, but it's it's growing up it's not drooping down so that's good and I may trim these back some more but I've got quite a bit off the bottom and that's my main goal is to get the bottom leaves off and we have to do more with this because look at <laughs> um, because I really don't want the water splashing up getting on to my plants leaves and causing blight so I don't think I'm gonna have to do anything else to this bed except for just keep them staked up nicely um, but I think I'm going to get me some tomatoes this year. I really do regret not planting more sweet bell peppers. I've only got four plants, and these aren't doing all that great. Kind of like, I don't know, <laughs> they're not getting enough sun. I think that's the main issue, but everything else is doing really good. I wish I could feed these to the chickens or the bunnies, but these plants from these different vegetables 
Um, they're not good for bunnies, I guess, and I guess they're not good for chickens either, so my compost heap will be perfectly happy with them. And look who showed up to mow my lawn today, Mr. Lucas! He is. He does look 100% better. What a relief. I thought he was just going to do this front part, but he did. He even went, tried to get some in the culvert. Lots of poison ivy there. He did all of this back here and all the way to my back. Let me show you. All the way over here. Way back there. I didn't even think he was going to do this. This, all back here, was grown up so bad. Oh, my foot's killing me. I'm limping. So that's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Lucas. <laughs> you restored nice looking land to my homestead. UPS guy is here. Okay, so I'm going to have to look up this order. This is all that I got. It didn't come with the cap. This is worthless to me. This is freaking worthless. 20 bucks and freaking worthless. I'm going to have to go back and check and make sure that they didn't send me the wrong thing because this is basically just the spigot. It was supposed to come with the cap and everything else. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. The, the main part that I needed to attach all that to the IBC tote is missing so um, I, I tried to start the return process but they needed me to print a label and I, I don't have a printer I can't print a label um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get my money back or return it or, or whatever it was 20 bucks that I needed <laughs> you know uh, it's a good thing that Miss Ann told me about that other water tote because it's already starting to fill up with water I did want to tell you one thing about that tote um, there is algae down in the bottom of it, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to get some more water in there, and then I'm going to put some bleach in it and let it sit for a while to dissipate, and then I can use it on the plants. So, hey, I'm a little disappointed, so I'm going to make me some dinner. Yes, Mr. Lucas' brother, a couple days ago, gave me, well, I walked down some eggs. I was just going to give people eggs. I gave them to my, the two other ladies that, um, you know, we normally barter for, but um, I didn't ask for anything back. I'd been blessed so much lately that I just gave him some eggs, and I took some down to Mr. Lucas' brother and his wife, and um, she brings out a big bag of frozen fish fillets that Paul had caught and filleted, and so, yeah, today's the day I'm going to fry them up. Mmm, fish and chips, totally delicious. They turned out really, really good, tasty. Yeah, that part little, I got a little bit too much pepper, but otherwise, very tasty. So we'll end on a positive note. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.